the bully and the beast podcast. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to another edition of Bully and the Beast podcast. What edition me? All right, I'm wax, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm L'Oreal. Edition. Never mind. So, um, unfortunately, I have to sit next to you again. <laughs> right now. Oh, this, did you call sit next to each other? Yeah, right? this is too I, close. I, as long as you ain't got to be right here, we are. This is too close. Um, so, thank y'all for tuning in. Even though Wax wasn't here, you know, the duo, the dynamic duo was not together yes. last week. And a lot of people hated Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just so used to us. Yeah. Yeah, but I did go to his event, like I said I would, the Trap oh. Karaoke. Oh. And when I tell you, like, I never went to it before. Mm. I wasn't really, honestly, I wasn't even really sure what it was, 110%. But that shit. Yeah. Was lit as a motherfucker. You gotta go. Why would, where, who was supposed to invite me, Mouse? It was in DC. You wasn't there. Hey, so what? Just tell me to come. I'm, I'm, I'm probably out there fucking a girl somewhere. I don't think. I'd rather he... come there and come chill out and see what's going on. Yeah, well, you missed it. It was just like really good thank you. I like invites. I want to start being invited. Even though y'all know I'm not going to come, still invite me. Ain't nobody got time for that. Why not? It's an easy invite. Like, yo, Wax, come through. And I'll be like, All right, I'm, I'm going to see you and just probably never show up. No, thank you. Right. So what you been up to? Dancing on the island? <laughs> no, that is funny. <laughs> 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 no, I actually went uh, went fishing. I went shooting. I was in, on the farm this weekend, man. I had a lot of fun, man. I actually need to fish more. It's like therapy. You know people go sit down and talk to somebody and tell somebody your business, and then all fucking day you wonder if this fucking person going to tell on you or not? Like, you don't even have to do that shit. Like, just go fishing and smoke weed. So that's why you smell like outside. Man, even though it's my boots, I ain't seen my boots. <laughs> <laughs> my boots got no shit. Thing. It's all mud all over them still and all that. But, you know, I ain't mad. Um, my mother has a fishing dock on the back of yeah. her house. And oh, no. nobody ever catches anything. Well, <laughs> they be out there for days. Bait, you got to bait out there. Shut up, she got to bait out there, put certain things out there She's first. caught something nobody else has, though. Yeah, like, I'm talking about my entire family. Like, nobody ever it's, catches It's kind of a sport, though. You know what I'm saying? A lot of now people just... Sport. It is. You can't just throw it in there and just a certain way to hook it, a certain thing you got to wait till the thing go down or... There's a certain pool you know that the, the fish got hooked. I fished one time. Well, I used to do it a lot when I was younger. Yeah. But the hook got stuck in my thumb, and that was the last you day I ever tried to girl. do any of that. I, I, could, I could tell. I still got the scar on my thumb. One of my cousins, my cousin Quincy, he had a... Uh, it got stuck in his nose. Like, oh, he, I he wish I... Yeah, through. and then that's what I did. <laughs> and the shit flung back and got my fucking thumb. That hook is definitely dangerous. <laughs> All right, so I definitely want us to get into some voicemails. Because yes. from what T. Diddy said, wrap they're juicy. No, yeah. she didn't say wrap it up, asshole. No, just, that's... You wrap it up. Because I know you don't on a usual basis with your nasty ass. I was nasty lately. Ew, what did you do? <laughs> No, no, no. It might be one in there. Let's see. Oh, I don't so, know anything. Oh, you do know. Does he know something I about really these voicemails? I don't know nothing. I'm Y'all just, speak he... about the voicemails aside from me? Oh. Come don't on, fu- jealous. Don't fucking play, T. Diddy. <laughs> Get out of here. She's jealous. Uh, yeah, I don't play that shit. <laughs> I feel sorry for your boyfriend. He can't cheat at all. She's not my boyfriend. I damn She's the producer of our show. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it. Hey, L'Oreal. Hey, Wax. Just calling to say I really love to listen to you guys' show. and I get excited every time I hear a new one. Wax, you're freaking funny as fuck. Your laugh makes me laugh uncontrollably. But I was calling for some advice. So I just turned 29 in February, and I have never been in a relationship, never had a boyfriend, and I've only been on a few dates, and the dates that I have been on, um, I was the one who asked the guy out. I took him out, and I paid. So I was just wondering, you know, um, I don't think I'm ugly, but is something, you know, something that I'm doing, or is, could you guys give me some advice on something that I could do that could possibly get me a, a boyfriend or at least a date? I don't know. I don't know. Um like I said, I love watching the show. Hope you guys can help me. Thanks. Bye. You know what's so crazy? Like, she's not, it's not like she's fat. Because fat girls, guys know that fat girls cook. 
So they got something like we going over there. <laughs> okay. She must be like really, really ugly or cosmetically challenged for people not even to want to. She's twenty nine and never. Come on. Um, maybe it's her approach. She might be. It, it doesn't have to be that she. She says she doesn't think she's ugly, which means she doesn't have to be the best looking person in the world. We, we, we got to get her IG or something. But yeah, but she. I mean, looks isn't everything. Please be clear. The that, prettiest that, that, that people you, do that, the that ugliest could knock thing. On the door. That gets you a knock on the door, though. I just feel like try dating sites. That's what they're here for. But the there's thing, a lot of women and there's a lot of men that, you know, have difficulties with finding a counterpart. Yeah. So I feel like dating sites is the best thing. Like, that's what they're for. But you, but you understand. Or church. Yeah. Or, or Target for me. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> you understand... When you when you go on those dating sites, that's the whole place for nobody want nobody. That's she said doing. a date at least. Didn't she just say that? You think she wants to meet? She said a date at least. She doesn't want to have to pay for everything all the time. Yeah, you got to pay like you wait, baby. There's all different kind of people on dating sites. I would say dating sites. I would say like places where people go to meet other people. Pass me that it's phone it's here. It's her right here. She pretty from here. I can't see close, but... That's her. She's pretty. You mean to tell me she can't get a nigga? She's a nice looking woman. She, she, all right. you know what I'm saying? She, she got some boobies and everything. Yeah, you wouldn't look at her and be yeah. like, "Ew, yuck, you're Hold ugly." On. Stop. Is that is that really what I think it is? That is a camel toe. He's trying to say that mother, but it better be a camel toe. Why you like a motherfucking meat? Well, you've been staring at it for a while. Yeah, if I'm that's like, what you thought fuck? it was, that's a problem. Nah, knock it off. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know nothing. That's probably why. She is a nice looking female to me. I feel like maybe it's her approach. Maybe she's too All right, aggressive. Listen, all right, guess what? We're going to get the cameraman a shot. He he likes her. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, uh, <laughs> and let's let's see if he's smash her or something. I, is she, where is she from? Maybe we could set her up yeah, on a date. Maybe set up with somebody. That's what we're here for. Wax has a lot of friends, but his friends are ugly. Well, they at least going to fuck her and get that free meal. <laughs> <laughs> if she paying shit, she might get I me. I can't believe she's never been in a relationship. I would really say, like, what, like I said, that's the main thing I could keep thinking is what is your approach? Because think about it. What is the kind of girls you wife? Let's put it like that. Pretty teeth, titties, and toes. Uh, God-fearing woman. Uh, Got to know how to cook. Got morals, just all around morals and respect for herself. Okay, so she looks like she can have all that going on, right? She know how to cook. But now look. Yeah, she got the cooking lips. But say a woman had all that and she came at you mad crazy, like, can I take you to dinner? I'm going to buy dinner tonight. Da, 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 da. I'm down. Well, yeah, you, you you're also a motto. piece of shit. You know my mom. You got me some um, um, weed and some food. Oh, I'm there. And you got the pussy. I'm going to see You pussy. turning into Kevin Hunter more and more Stop every it. day. <laughs> you know Wendy is single it's now. Yo. You sound like him earlier. You was getting on my fucking nerve. See, I Diddy. I had no weed, yo. Y'all, wasn't he sounding just like a fucking fiend? Uh, Kev Tourette's. Oh, Lord. Hey, girl, just be nasty. Just be nasty. Fuck Slide in some idea. That's all. Be nasty. Send some put his pussy in titty pits and dudes a fly to come see you, especially if they just coming in town. Like, that's light. I hope she finds a date. And if we can help you some way, somehow, we would love to help yeah, you. Yeah, date mean dick. We got you. You going to give her some date and dick? She paying. Dick and date? <laughs> How much? Okay, guys. So, I just want to say, first off, I love you guys' podcast. Um, Thank you. But I do need advice. Okay. Perfect. This weekend, I... Saw my dad cheating on my mom, but my dad didn't see me. Woo. Um, That's cool. How do I approach my dad? Never. Him know you lying, that cheating I motherfucker. Was cheating on my mom. What's cheating now? Um, I Damn. saw him in a car with a woman. Okay. While, we, while I was driving. And they looked all lovey dovey. No. Um, they probably was praying. My advice, Shut up. I, mean, I need advice on. Do I approach him? How do I approach him? You a dog. Um, do I let my mom know what's going no, on? No, don't ever or hurt your mama feelings. Do I just keep my mouth shut? Yes. Help me, please. I got you, miss. First of all. Go help me hear you. You, I could agree with you on the don't hurt your mama's don't hurt feelings. Mama. But you don't think lying to her is hurting her feelings? I right, show you what you got to do. 
is figure out, like, listen, we got to do something very amazing for mommy. Yeah, like kill yourself. No, you don't kill yourself because that's her meat. That's her mama meat. So you're going <laughs> to kill a fucking vibrator, throw this shit in the toilet, you don't do that. Ugh. That's a human vibrator. Only thing we are human vibrators. You know what I'm saying? And y'all pussies, that's what, that's what fucking charges us up. That's how it gives us our pride and stuff like that for us to meet a man. A man is a prideful thing. You know what I'm saying? And that pussy makes us pride. If we are big dick fucked up, you don't do that. You don't fucking get rid of her meat. So you just say, listen, I seen what you did. We just got to do something very special for mommy, like buy her car, like something crazy. We got to hit his pocket. And you just let it slide. See, it's different because you you're not a him. woman. Like, he's going to keep doing it. I would definitely be like, listen, you're being messy. Mm -hmm. I seen you. You're cheating <laughs> on mommy. And you ain't shit. Like, okay. you ain't shit. And either get it together or I'm going to tell her what you're mommy cheating on. Mommy got to benefit off that because my feelings is hurt. So I, for me to be like... Makes your mommy smile. Well, that's up to you, but I'm telling you right now, get your shit together, and I want to talk to the bitch. What you mean you got to talk to nah, her? Nah, because if I can't tell my mother, then I'm going to be my mother for my mother. You feel me? I hear you. I'm pulling up. Like, I, I, I'm going to leave her alone. I'm pulling I'm up. Where's no, she at? No, no, and she nowhere. Nah, you like her. bitches, right? Nope, like, show me. Introduce me. Nope, I was praying in the Introduce car. me. You, you went to a Pentecostal church? You wanna baby be, on your head, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you want to be lovey-dovey, right? Nope, come, let's be praying. a family. Come on, come on. But she don't like you. No, I don't like you, nigga, and we should kill you. You see? You seen Snap. Oh, I don't want you to be my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you my son already, so that would be impossible. Well, oh, well. No, but I I definitely think that you got to talk to your father. And I, I, like I said, again, I agree with you on the mother thing, but I couldn't imagine hurting my mother no. feeling. Like, I couldn't. No. But it's not me that's doing it. It's his lying Who, cheating ass. I get it, but you... You wait really time to bring my mama some bad news. Listen, anybody, if you could, if it's twenty four hours out of the day, if you could be happy the whole twenty four hours, be happy because you're gonna have to have them days to be sad. You're gonna have to have them days to be mad and all other type of shit. You're gonna have them times for that. So if you can be happy right. all the time, if you can have mommy be happy for twenty four hours straight, do that. I ain't bring my mama no bad news. Fuck old that. old school mommies already know that there's another bitch. It's probably another son, another daughter, That's and another family. Is, no, 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 is no. Forgiveness. Marriage is love and forgiveness. That's all it is. I Everybody say he got a whole up. another family. You like that's what marriage is. Two no, families. No, no, no. That's not marriage. <laughs> that, that, that's that's uh. Dan, so you love your father more than you love your mother. That's not a bad idea. Really. You love your, you no, love. No, every man loves his mommy more than he loves. Yeah, his but daddy. you picking your father's side like I'm a not, dog. I'm just saying like that. I saw you. Like and you listen, ain't shit. I, I don't want to tell this on my dad, but I'm probably gonna do it. You seen your dad fucking a bitch? No, no, I didn't. We seen porno tapes. You know of your saying? dad, his porno? No, not his porno tapes. We just seen porno tapes and like we be finding like when we used to live there, we had this like like who's taking our porno tapes? Last thing you I think is a pastor. You know what I'm saying? We might have to cut this shit. <laughs> Do not no, cut this shit. We gotta shit. have to cut this shit. No, please don't. You can't. Don't talk no more. To. Don't yeah, talk I'm no more the then. Up, then. Daddy, don't, don't listen to this. Papa was a past the stone. <laughs> All right, but listen, Kurt Franklin talk about it. I talk about it. I'm 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 this guy's son too. You know what I'm saying? Like we all the same. His meat wanna get hard off that. It's just I guess that's what it is. But nobody wanna get caught jerking off. Nobody even wanna get caught like like, say if you, uh, unless somebody hold my phone and they, they, you push Google and the fucking porn come up. I don't want to see that. That shit is like, I look at it like, damn, like, you, you caught me being You definitely nasty. showed me on your phone just out of nowhere, like, L'Oreal, look, ha, ha, ha. And it was titties. like, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the So it's okay for me to have to see that shit, but you like. L'Oreal. I don't want to see it. Why not? Not in your phone or what you're looking at. I don't give a fuck. I don't care either. I don't even know why they keep saying that. I can't believe the pastor was watching porn, though. Ah, all pastors watch porn. They're Ugh. human beings. That just makes me want to vomit. I, I, I live with a pastor my whole life, and I, they literally are human beings. They're just anointed and know how to speak. I know. Some pastors word. be touching little boys. That's wild. Go not ahead. my dad. No, not your dad. <laughs> he touching the porno tapes. <laughs> Daddy, I ain't tell him. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Loria. What's up, baby? Oh, hey. Hey, but look, boy, I got a little question for you on wax. And um, she did it. Um, So I did a little bid recently, uh, 2018. I did six um, months um, for pro pro probation violation. Please, I did it. Young, Soldier you know, boy? Shh. Smoking so that I'm in jail with my sister's boyfriend. We're in a correctional facility, mind you. The most you can get at this facility is 
three to five years. So yeah. I'm not in no prison like or no county. shit like that. Yeah, Basically gotta, saying he ain't got so life. My little sister holding his man down in jail. You Gay fist day. You know, some, you know, ride or die type shit. That nigga sucking meat. So come to find out, a couple months of me being in there, three months into my bed, I found out that this nigga in jail fucking other nigga. Ah! You know. Probably lower your boyfriend. You know, that the fuck out of here. <laughs> and when I got out, I wanted to know y'all thoughts on me telling my sister about it. Yes. Or should I just let them be great in their relationship? Nope. Um, which I think about that, like real talk, because I'm, shit, I don't know. I'm in odds with this shit. I don't fucking know, because they love each other. Man, fuck they really love this nigga, man. Like, she took, he took her virginity. Mm. So, you know, like, I love this nigga type <laughs> Even if I did tell her, I don't even think that she would believe me, but do y'all think it's a good idea to tell her anyway? Yes. Because, like, this is like, it's fucked up. Um, you know, it's, tell me what y'all think. Hit me back or some shit. Peace. Damn. Listen, you know all that shit I talk about, have a mama, the 24 hours be happy shit? For sisters, you can fuck that. You can fuck the whole day up if you want to. Damn. I'm just saying, it's like, if my sister, I want to tell her, like, yo, this nigga is being a piece of shit. That's going to fuck her day up. But at the end of the day, you know that's going to make her heal faster. You she such a know. hypocrite. Because so you sisters, would run you just, and tell your sister, but not your mother? Hell yeah. My sister, you going to hurt this one with me because you're supposed to have a better picking. You're supposed to know better. How the fuck she know that her man going to go to prison and be you gay? You smashing dudes, but you're supposed to know that. I'm sorry. And, I, and look, listen. You could be gay all you want, but you can't be my boyfriend and be gay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, lawyer, what you want me to tell you if I see your boyfriend out there sucking meat? Listen, she got to. He got to tell her. Tell her. You probably gonna lose a sister because you got to remember, she lost her virginity to this man, so they've been together for a while. He don't sound like no kid. That sound like a grown man that just was on the phone. No, I, I, yeah, you know what? You could beat him up. Like we could be our boyfriend and my sister boyfriends up. All but what the time. you was just chilling in jail, like, I right, bro, like go ahead and tear that nigga up. Like you ain't say nothing Punch to bro. Nigga in the mouth, yo, you can't be doing that to my sister, nigga. He was supposed to not like you should at least say something to him, like, bro. You're bugging. You let him tell her. I would have I would have made that nigga tell. Like call her right, call right now. now. Yep. Let on me your... see one of y'all niggas' cell phones. Call. Or you could call on the regular phone. What yeah, the fuck is that? I'm speaking for my baby. Yo, sis. Yeah, I, need I just seen this nigga giving head to another nigga. Tell, Tell her. The truth. Tell her right now. <laughs> She's going to be like, is that nigga you? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Definitely me. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah, so I think definitely you have to tell her, like, especially because how much more serious are they going to get? Like, yeah, from virginity to jail to, like, yeah, she marriage? She doesn't even know what it is. This guy is smashing dudes, so he's not really smash her the way she needs to be smashed. He's, like, enjoying fucking guys more anyway. So until she get a guy who actually love pussy and only pussy, and then she get the right guy for her. You think it would be different if he got something like 10 years? Is it okay from the fucking guys? No, it's never gay okay for to stay. Guys. You never like come on. Gay for stay did not start from nowhere. It's a lot of guys that go to jail, and because they know yeah. that they're gonna be in jail for a while, they get head or stuff like that. They've been wanting to do that, but shit, that was man. the whole reason why he said the most you could be getting out of this facility. That's why he said that. Like some county bitch shit. Because he... He he shouldn't be doing that. Like, nigga, you gay already for just three years? (laughs) Nigga, the fuck? (laughs) Like, you been wanting to suck meat, bruh. The fuck is wrong with you? Nigga said... But he said that's the most you could do. He said he got six months. Yeah, but the fuck are you doing six months? He went to jail to meet niggas, I think. (laughs) Literally. That's his dating site. (laughs) (laughs) This girl better go to jail and figure it out. Or dress like a dude. Yeah, something. I don't know, but I definitely think tell her, tell her, tell her as soon as you can. Tell her ASAP. Yeah. Fuck, she gonna have have fucking doodle on her her fucking pussy. What? What you mean? I'm over you. What you mean? You What's the worst thing around? you ever had to tell one of your friends about someone that they fucked with? Um, I, I, I told I told a guy he actually married his, the girl. Uh, I told him by mistake. I didn't know that he was that was his girl. So he was like, "Yo, I um seen you the other day by the cafeteria. You was talking to so and so." And I was like, 
I'm like, yeah. And I was just all of a sudden, well, you know, me fucking her and all that type of shit, but not knowing that this is nigga, like, girl. And I seen him, he light skinned nigga. So the nigga turned like red as a motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm looking at him like, bro, you all right? <laughs> he was just like, yo, that's my girl. Ah. And I was like, ah, I feel like shit. Look at me. So I, I stopped even telling. I don't even know anything. And all that locker room talk shit, that shit is real. Y'all be out here fucking us and shit like that. We tell him. You know what I'm saying? So don't act like we ain't telling you. Y'all nasty motherfuckers. That shit me, is real as fuck. Niggas don't have no shit. You be thinking a nigga gonna hold you down, girl. He's not yeah, gonna I mean, hold you down. I mean, I'll be, I do it because at the end of the day, I know these dudes gonna tell us a lot of people that I done smash and nobody can't tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers talk too motherfucking much. Before, you'd be like, oh, you could tell him. The next thing you know, this dude be like, yo, yo, you better let me fuck before I tell you. You let wax fuck. I'm like, this what? Clown, yo, bro, I, I didn't even went through it all. People who I didn't even think that was like that was girls come back and tell me certain dumb ass shit that the motherfuckers were saying. It's so crazy how niggas will say something like that. Like, it's more attractive when you hold it down. But then they be the first ones doing the locker room talk. Oh, mm. I fucked her and da 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 da. Yeah. Like, y'all niggas is corny as fuck. Yeah, be, be, be corny. Like, that type of shit be corny. I get it. That's why I don't do it no more. What about, like, and I, we've talked about stuff like this before, but what about. Say it's a girl that you started talking to and she tells you, like, yo, I fucked. Because you would want her to tell you the truth, right? thousand percent. If it's somebody Give around you. Give me the bodies you. that I know, for sure. Right, so, like, say it was somebody like um, Andrew from Fra Flagrant mm. and Brilliant Idiots. What, what if she was like, yo, I fucked Andrew before. You know, I just wanted I to clear that. the air. And I, and I know exactly where to put my heart at, and I know exactly how to deal with you for the rest so of the So you life. would never take her serious, no, ever? No, you can't, because I, I can't. I'm, I'm going to have to bring her around, me and Andrew's friends. So there's no way I'm going to have my girl, another meet in the room that fucked my wife. <laughs> nah. What if she lied? Uh, then I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna ask her right away. Like, yo, you know, old girl used to fuck. I, I'm, I'm smashing now too. You'll be like, all right, word. That's, that's, that's no, but what know. if you don't know that they know each other? Is what I'm saying. Like, cause it's just so touchy okay. to me. Like, you don't that's know it. everybody's history, and they don't know that y'all gonna know each other. Yeah. So say y'all meet two different, completely different places. Like, I always thought about that. Like, what I, for instance, doesn't Nessa. Um, that's her name for, that dates Colin Kaepernick, uh -huh. right? Didn't she used to date his teammate before? Yes. Okay, but they seem to be doing great in their God relationship. God, but I'm happy she got out of that other situation. Though. I'm happy she with Colin. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, what what would it take you to get to the point where you would be like, you know, it's all right. I know you fuck, and that was his teammate. So they had to been some kind of close. Nah, it was yeah, yeah. They, it, it was some blows. I mean, it had it had uh, it wasn't cool. What happened is just. Something that happened and they fell in love and I'm happy with what they got going on now. I think she's in a way better situation. Though, to right, but I'm just using that as an example. So you're saying that like if a a woman came to you like that, you would just be like, "Nah, I'm sorry, you fucked with Andrew, never." Um, yeah, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I mean, one one of the, the girl that I actually really do like, so dope, good pussy, good as hell, grinder. Like she like really like grind. Like she's on her shit. Mm -hmm. But one of my dudes. Actually, most a couple of my guys done fucked it before. See, I think if it's a couple, that might be a little bit different. But even like, you know, I don't really fuck with them dudes, but I I know of them other guys. Right. But one of my guys, you know, what I'm saying, fucked her too, and it's like, I'm gonna have to bring him around her. You know, what I'm saying, I'm gonna have to bring her around him. Yeah, I don't That's think I would be comfortable are. with like bringing my dude around a girl that I'm cool with that he fucked. He fucked that. It is kind of strange. Unless I know it was like some really, really back in the day shit like high school. Still don't care. You still don't care? Nope. You see my nah, I'm pussy. too old to give a fuck about a see high school pussy. fuck. That's mad immature and childish. So I, I, that's me. You might be missing out on your blessing. I didn't. I did. I, she was so dope. She's really dope. Tito and Jermaine got the same baby mama, right? Is that Tito and Jermaine? They brothers? Or Mark, which is mad at them Jacksons. Oh, Two yeah? of the Michael Jackson's brothers got the same baby oh, mama. Oh, she's good. City High, too? Yeah. Oh, Claudette was messing with all three of them because wasn't she messing with Wyclef, too? Nice. Oh, no, nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. How good your pussy got to be? I'm just saying. I should just be, you know what I'm saying, just passing you along. I, d I don't know if that's true, allegedly. I don't like to put bodies well, on listen, people. Listen, that's some good-ass pussy for me not to care that that nigga just put his meat in. And I'm going to fuck her, too. All right, so we're going to get into Savage News. Word.
Oh, just know if y'all want to leave a voicemail, y'all could do so at any time during the week. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that number is three four seven six seven nine six one one eight. Holla at us! Don't sound so excited, motherfucker. I did. I was so excited just now. You hear me? Yeah. So that's if y'all can't get in touch with us on the line live, then um, definitely leave your voicemails. So like I said, we getting in savage news. So man blows his cover. This some nasty ass shit you would do. Yeah. Right. Man blows his cover while hiding from police because he farted. <laughs> So you know how many girls that I've been around, I didn't want to fart. Like, when I first met them and stuff like that, and I'm sitting somewhere with them, I don't want to fart. I don't know if it's stink or not. How long does it take you to fart? Um, I can actually hold that. That's what I'm saying. This motherfucker got the cops right there. Bro, how nervous was you? Your fucking cheeks. That you, mean, look at you holding your farts in front of bitches. Only for the first day. Yo, you a classy <laughs> hoe. <laughs> you only get that one day, girl. After that, they ripping. Yeah. Letting them rip. Are you, you're okay with women farting and stuff in front of you? Well, be a lady. Shave your legs. But you can shit. I mean, fart. I can fart. I can shit. I'm Not man. you. I'm talking about the woman. She could fart as long as she shaves her legs. No, you not be a lady. Stop farting. Stop Stop shitting. Don't act like a, you kick me out the house. Start an argument. Be a gentleman, nigga. Stop. Nobody sh- want to hear y'all, y'all, y'all stinky shit. Yeah, shitty ass. Let's go. Police found a toilet in a woman's bathroom. And it was clogged with a plastic bottle last March. Now, now, an incident similar and 10 others. So this nigga is just going around places. He's 35 no, years old. Like a girl. Listen, 30, for he got caught. 35-year-old oh. Patrick Beeman. He was using water bottles to block toilets and women's bathrooms at community centers oh, yeah. where he worked. <laughs> what? what kind of fucking losers? I mean, he must know something. When y'all pee, do it like come back up to your butt or something like that? He has to spend 150 days in jail <laughs> after clogging <laughs> over 30 toilets. What's his charge, though? Um, That's not even a charge. <laughs> no, here it is. He, ple- he pleaded no contest to five counts of misdemeanor criminal damage to property. The state recommended a 30 day census for the crime, but since he did it so much, nigga, got, 30, yeah, 30, he ended yeah. up with all that. Uh, so he had to go to three years probation and had to pay $5,500 in a fine. This motherfucker. Listen, I did stupid shit, but all mine had a reason why I did it. Oh, what wait. You this is you. Me? This is you. This is the best line. This is it. what we should have let off with. Let me hear it. Beeman told police he gets urges to do odd things, like look for bottles in the garbage to clog toilets <laughs> and cause them to overflow. This sounds like some dumbass whack no, shit. No, it's not. I do everything for a reason. That's for no reason. I don't have an urge to do this shit. I, oh, yeah. All right. He's like on him, drugs. Bro. He's definitely on drugs. But look at the eye. I'm about to tell you about the yeah. Eye. That nigga is just a weirdo. That's the eye. Why would you go around? What made you say, all right, I have an idea? His eye. <laughs> idea. I. His idea. His idea. Oh, God. Police arrest woman after she urinated. Now, this is a nasty bitch here. Let me hear it. After she urinated in an ice cream machine and spat in ice cream containers. So she got caught on camera. She contaminated thousands of dollars worth of ice cream by spitting in the ice cream itself and urinating in the machine. And you know, them machines is always broken anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <Just like> why? <laughs> so she's 66 years old. Um, she worked at Lulu's Ice Cream Shop. Oh, she worked there. Ah. Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. I mean, it, it, mine worse, like I didn't want to work at the a restaurant my mom made me work at one night. When I used to to wash the dishes, and I used to put my meat on all the fucking silverware. Yeah, this is what it's saying, that she used to use the bathroom wide with the door wide open, would leave out without washing her hands. Uh, I mean, that's not most girls. She was in the freezer putting her hands in the ice cream containers. She was also seen picking her nose and touching the product. Oh, this bitch is nasty. You know what? I blame the fucking little girl that licked the ice cream, the blue bell. I, I say, whoever, if y'all catch somebody do that, fuck them up. So it's fuck so funny. Them up. I went to my boy, he has this thing. It's called the Ernest Living Tour. It's yeah. kind of like a class or whatever. So he came 
Um, cause he's like publicist for a bunch of people. Uh-huh. So he was like, yeah, so later on, we're going to have the girl that licked the, um, blue bell. She wants to come and apologize. I'm like, if that bitch come in here and we don't fuck her up. You get fu- and you looking shit? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, miss? I got time for that licking shit, yo. Oh, she's a pisser. Yeah, she was pissing. Oh, all right. You know what? I did some dumb shit too, so. <laughs> what did you do? I ain't licked nothing. You pissed in something? No, I told you I put my balls on the um the, the silverware. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. Why that's would you do shit. that? Dumb ass motherfucker. Let me tell you one thing I seen somebody do with some food. So we all ordered takeout food. I was at my boyfriend's house at the time. <laughs> I was young. Oh, yeah. I was young, so it was like all his friends. We was all like in the pool and stuff. And his cousin did not like one of his friends, right? Yeah. So we all had like um what do you call those things? Um, uh, with the mozzarella and the chicken okay, parm, yeah. chicken parm. Oh. You know, I don't eat none of that shit no more, so I'll be forgetting. Yes. So right. the chicken parm sandwiches, we had like a bunch of those and like fries and shit, yeah. right? So everybody gets their sandwich, everybody gets their sandwich, and the kid that dude didn't like, the right. cousin didn't like, he was using the bathroom. My nigga. One or two. He opened up the sandwich said the biggest hawk spit I ever seen and he spit, spit in this spit is no different look shit. closed it back up wrapped it back up he came out he was like where's my sandwich like where's mine everybody so he hands it to him bro I had to say I was like I wanted to say something but low key I didn't like him neither okay. so I was he just like it. But, because you know if you don't like nobody, they fuck that. Nah, but bro, <laughs> no matter how much I don't like somebody, yeah. that's some that's nasty wild shit. wild shit. I don't and like you, that. You know what else I did? I nutted on somebody's toothbrush before, too. How they didn't know? It's stiff. Uh, no, I didn't put like all when I just like, I went into the bathroom and jerked off on a toothbrush because the dude owed me money was playing me out. It was like- I, A this, nigga? No, yes. It, but, ah! That's why. I, listen, if you ever go to my bathroom, you'll never catch my fucking toothbrush laying out. Y'all idiots who ever do that. You're fucking retarded if you got your toothbrush laying out. Like Wax. You're putting that shit in your mouth all the time. What? You came on a nigga's toothbrush? Yeah, because it owed me money. And I couldn't beat him up. That was It was all around the same time of me putting doodle on people because I kept I told God, like, Lord, I'm not going to hit nobody no more. I got a hitting problem with beating people up. I mean, all guys. And, um... So it's like they deserved it though. Everybody deserved it that, that got beat up. I'm so disgusted. So I with said, you. Lord, I'm not going to do it. Just I'm going to find different ways to get at people. And hopefully they hit me first and then I get to get them because self defense. And the dude is like, I went over to get the money. He got like, oh, this dude's supposed to come through like mad hours. Man, I wasn't horny or nothing, man. I just went into the bathroom. Like, I got to get this nigga. I was like, I'm going there and fuck him up. Man, I just looked to the right and seen his fucking toothbrush. Jerked off, nut on his toothbrush, put a little bit on there. That shit was probably his mom's. That's no. fucked up. <laughs> she was visiting. That's foul. You ain't shit. Hopefully not. Please. I don't want to get nobody mama's like that. Oh. Uh, nah, but I think it was his toothbrush. There's only one toothbrush in there. So. You ain't Why shit. Why did I even tell that? I don't know, because you're gross and fucking disgusting so piece of shit. Okay, so. He deserved it. Stop. I feel like we can't even get into this coming out of that. What is this? Black excellence, but yeah. you would be so far from that. I love black excellence. <laughs> well, why don't you try to be a little bit more like the fucking... Yo, this is back in the day shit, though. You're like I'm doing that shit now. I believe that that could have been any time no, recently. I ain't known on nobody too much in a long ass time. Ugh. Okay, so black excellence. A teen who was denied a job at Six Flags over his locks gets modeling job from Kiki Parma and Romeo Miller. Oh. I think it's really dope because this kid was, is not was, he is a very handsome young boy. Mm-hmm. And um, once I seen it, I'm like, all right, let's see what this kid looks like. Let's see what the fuss is about. Mm-hmm. And TJ, do you got a picture? It's like Prison Bay. Without the prison. You know what I mean? Mm. So, Great Adventure Bay. Six Flags Bay. Mm. You're not impressed? I mean, what'd they say? Like that nice looking young man. He get pussy. I mean, I guess. He's 17 pussy. years old. He just. Hey, I hope he gets a pussy. He just started getting pussy like last year or two years ago. He uh, ain't have no job. Well, he was trying he to get said, one. He better keep on getting pussy. So basically what happened was he went to go get a job at Six Flags and they told him that they wasn't going to hire him unless he cut his hair. 
So yeah. it went viral, you know, and he he didn't want to cut his hair. Congratulations, exactly, and he didn't have to, and now he's going. He's on the road to becoming uh, a famous path, model. Yeah. That's right. So I think that's amazing. So shout out to Kiki Palmer and Romeo. They um shout out to them. Word. Yeah. So. He was on during the Good Morning America segment, and now he's gotten the attention of IMG Modeling Agency. So that's cool. Hopefully, you right, know. But so look, so if somebody do something wrong to me, can I go tell on somebody? Nobody gives a fuck about yeah, me. Nobody now. gives a fuck. That's Not about you. Up. You I'm come on people's you. toothbrush and that's shit back in your in hand. The day I changed. No, you don't. No, you didn't. Jay-Z continues to grow his businesses. This is great for us. Mm. By partnering with a cannabis company. Ooh. And you always looking for weed, well, so. Weed that, yo. Ugh. So Jay-Z, weed, yo. Jay-Z will now serve as a brand strategist for Calvia, which is a Northern California-based cannabis company that has Smart. a farm and two stores. So Calvia is big on community. The company works with those that have been affected by the San Francisco wage gap. So Jay-Z also wants to help those that haven't been able to participate in the cannabis industry, which is very important because so, it's like one of the most hardest things for us way, to get in. Didn't know what's up. Mm-hmm. I'm down. So, um, so would you say, who do you think is the most influential person in hip hop right now? Would you say it was, it's Jay-Z? Yeah. One of them because his wife also, yes. Right, because they're a power couple, so them together. I can't even think of anybody who I would put, like, yeah. I mean, uh, Diddy Diddy is going through some things right now. I mean, You could could see it. He he could pull him out. He He needs a break. I think Diddy, this is his time to, like, go be with his kids for a little bit. He ain't going to lose out. You know what I mean? He needs to focus on them kids because them kids and whatever his situation is, and, you know, that's all on him. I don't know. I don't get involved. His his baby mom. um, Oh, past. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, go grieve. Right, so he's dealing with, not dealing with, but taking care of the twins. And I think, um, believe it or not, I still would say Kanye. Yeah. And like even though I have a serious problem with him joining forces with the evil ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Kardashians. Oh. But um you didn't yeah, know what I thought you were talking about Trump. I'm about to say what happened. To him me? too. I mean him yeah. aligning himself with these culture yeah. vulture kind of, yeah. you know, Respect. people. That's the only thing I I'm not here for. Otherwise, Kanye's always been one of my favorite uh-huh. artists, design everything. I like every I love everything he does except for you know, when he's, like, on the white Man, power listen, shit. I know one of my cousins, that pussy got that boy head gone. So Kim pussy must be so amazing to him and got his head all fucked up. So we really can't get mad. I'm sure you know some of your, family, your cousins that's a pussy whoop. Or somebody, you know somebody pussy whoop. I'm trying to think, like, of somebody that I would say is, like, I wouldn't say, I don't know. Not to the point where they ruin their whole life and I then bring it back. My, my cousin girl be smacking him in his face and everything, like just let him get away with everything. Like, let's go. I'm like, nigga, grow some balls. Damn, she be beating him up, beating the shit out of that nigga. She tell him what to do. Like, like we all get told to do. Your girl rule everything, but like she tell him what to do and he gotta do it. Like it's a, it's a it's a certain way. Like shorty say do something. We know like. We get beatings at home, so we be like, all right, baby. Like Big Shirley and Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Cole and Big Shirley always had that relationship. When your girl tame you at home, she say something in the street or give you this certain look at, out there in the street. She turn around and look at you like. Oh, I know. <laughs> if I see my shorties give you a certain look, I'll be like, I get it. I chill out. I shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have that look. Got to have that um, look. So in an interview, slated for. uh August edition of Forbes, Kanye West, who we just was talking to, he revealed that he's working on something. So I didn't get to see this. I hope we have um, pictures of this. But he wanted to create low-income housing, and this low-income housing was based on replicas from the Star Wars movie. So it's like Luke Skywalker's home or something like that. Do they have like a, a model of what he's talking about? Yeah, that'd be so dope. Like somebody house be like a spaceship or like an old plane. Like why nobody like won't buy like a big jumbo plane and let that be your house? Like fix it up in the inside. Like that's what we need to have. We got a lot of properties and stuff out here. Let's just put like 
certain Nigga, things. would you want to live in an airplane? If it's dope in the inside, why not? You that can't even stand different. up all the way, right? Yeah, you can't. It's big jumbo-ass planes. Oh, I mean, like you going to take the top things yeah, out? Yeah, renovate that shit. Make that shit look dope as hell. Like, yo, that's my crib right there. Like, you don't have to have a regular standing house. I want to be totally different than everybody else. I feel like I could use a plane as like a playhouse or like a club, yeah, but I wouldn't want to live in that motherfucker. Like the windows is too low. Like just. Nah, you never know. If they really prop it up. And I know people who live in tree house. You never see that tree house shit? Yeah, but uh, not for me. You know what I mean? Them I'm tree just. Tree houses are dope, yo. Look them shits up. Them shits I'm not really trying dope. to climb in no tree house. No. To go. <laughs> <laughs> got steps and shit all dope, though. But I, 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 what I want to do. But you like that. country and outdoorsy I shit. I do like that shit. I don't. I want to get like a big shed and I just want like a big warehouse and I just want that to be my crib. That's called the farm and you have one already. No, I know, but <laughs> I want a big ass shed for me, like some big ass shit to like my bathroom all the way in the corner, my kitchen over there. Something. I'm talking about some big, crazy cow doors, Walmart shit. Yeah, this nigga's an animal for real. Early. Let's get more creative though. Let's put like fucking antlers here and. You know what I'm saying? Let's do something. I mean, my problem with this is it's like no lightness, no light in it. I'm sure they got lights inside. No, I mean, as far as like the windows, like the wind, daylight, you know what I mean? Like outside light. This was for people who wear them type of clothes. They don't want to see <laughs> No, them. it's not. It's low income. That's like the project, oh, stupid. that's what you're trying to say. This guy is a fucking idiot. I got idiot. time for that shit, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that you got some motherfucking other shit, nigga. Uh, I'm like, nigga, what are you talking about? <laughs> I thought he was like building something for the Middle Eastern. I'm East like, you think they're like going to get like, mad planes for the that's project? That's a condo right there in the Middle Eastern, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The sand? <laughs> They dress like that too. They chilling in them huts. I was so confused. I'm like, what are you talking about? Early. Here, let's turn the projects into a, a jet and everybody gets That's off. what I was saying. You hear no, me? No, yeah, I didn't know what the fuck you were saying, but I let you talk. I got this little ass hut for these, but you get the fuck out of here. Would you rather live in a plane than the projects? Yes. <laughs> so we gonna get into who's on drugs. Yeah. Um, wax. What's the motherfucking number for oh, the, those? Three four that seven six seven nine six one one. They holler at us. All right. So any advice y'all need? If y'all want to weigh in on the topic, the topic is going to be if you catch pops cheating on moms, Early. is you telling or is you holding him down? Do you down. love your mother more than your father? Nope, it ain't like that. Yeah, ain't see, mind. Wax does. No, it ain't. It's just that I, don't, I love my mama so much, I don't never want her to see her hurt. I don't want to see my mom hurt never Yeah, either. come on. So we can't tell mamas? Let's see what these talk about. Or not even like, about. would you tell them, but what would you do? Period. I told, I told you what I'd do. Not I would, you, nigga. I'm talking uh, to the caller. The oh, fuck I already heard what the saying, fuck you would do. Why you want to hear me again? Ugh. Cool. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Who? Boo, boo, boo. Who's on drugs? Hello? Who's Hello? On drugs? Who's on drugs? Oh, my God. Um, hi. My name is Alaya. Hey. Um, and in this situation, I probably, my father was a baby and is a baby. So I would definitely tell my mother. Right. Yeah, okay. I mean, right, is, is she in for love sure. with him, though? It's all about, is she in love with him, though? Okay, but at the end of the day, I love her more than him, obviously, so we got to get that nigga out of here. <laughs> uh, but she won't be hurt. <laughs> right. so much, man. Listen, he's she a really love him. Yeah, she really love him. She ain't going to get rid of him. So you just over here wasting your time. Here, he going to butter her up. He going to make her squirt. He going to make her do all types of things. Ew, why listen, are you thinking about that with your mom? Yeah. I'm just she saying. Like, listen, she, I know that how she, men can change like, your mind. The pastor like, watches porno like, tape, so I'll he could definitely <laughs> make her squirt. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock it off. <laughs> My thing is, I'll be trying to, Wes, I'll be trying to be on your side, but then you always take it two steps further. Like, <laughs> you talking about you gonna make a split? Like, huh? Listen, I don't know why I'm you would ridiculous. ever want to be on his side. Listen, I'm just saying, though, but you cannot make your mommy hurt, though. You know what I'm saying? So you can't just be over here telling him. She really love him. Now, if y'all both be in the kitchen, like, you know, he's come back. He always cheating. She, y'all, y'all, and she already know. Then you be like, Ma, I caught this nigga cheating again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, my dad, we caught his ass multiple times with fucking porno tapes. So I, now, now we actually said in front of my mom the other day. We were like, Dad, what's that? Um, she's so tight, uh, uh, porn. And my mom was there. He, and my dad said the famous line, I don't know nothing. Oh, that's <laughs> where you stole that from. 
Oh, that's who you got there from. Right. Wow. Pasta. Like wow. the pasta, like the pathetic. I'm going to get in trouble for this, man. Right. <laughs> tell her right on him. Oh, but at the end of the day, I would definitely tell her, like, with no issue at all. So has anybody ever anybody... tell you something about somebody you was dating that you didn't want to hear? Um, no, I mean, things get back to me, but never, not that I didn't want to hear because they know that I'm going to confront them and they don't want to be involved, I feel like, but I definitely have been like, you know, this is what I heard, so tell me what's up, and I'm a little crazy, so people know not to tell me stuff immediately, figure it out, because you bring it to me. So, like, you had to pull up on somebody before? Oh, for sure. And what was the outcome? Oh, for sure. I had to pull up like, um, so what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, you, sound <laughs> what is this? you sound crazy. You you hurt your mama, so you sound crazy. Yeah, uh, she listen, she's not going to be hurt. We're going to get past everything. We're going to get past it all. All right, so but, what, what, what but you're not going to hear my mom right in front of me. All right, but listen, what about this? What about the way I said, like, you like, yo, dad, listen, I caught you cheating. Let's go ahead and buy. We got to buy mommy something so expensive, something she's going to be so happy, something she wanted for the, for mad years. We got to buy that for her or I'm telling. Absolutely not. No? Damn. Absolutely you not. You get your mama a gift before you, you get rid of him anyway? Like, is, Absolutely is, not. Because no gift is going to replace what you're doing to her. Because if I let this slide, how I know you're not going to do something like this again? Then I'm going to have to fight my own father. He's definitely you know going to do it Then I'm going to be on the news. You know how y'all tell the stories on the news like, oh, this girl killed her father and stuff like that. That would be it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, you crazy as hell. Y'all be reading the really, really news, sir. You crazy, crazy. Listen, I'm from Philly, so we get, we get right to it. So. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, Philly. All right. Don't you know hurt what? nobody, okay? I, I, said, I know it. I said, I know I fucking smell that fucking cheese, cheese stick with your fucking breath. I know Wow. I y'all know what that cheese that stick do? Shit. No, the like, cheese steak jokes are damn old. Let them know, Taylor. Is, but guess what? I do like the cheese steaks, so I shouldn't have said cheese steaks. What you should have said, read it? <laughs> no, I should have said your crazy ass. <laughs> right, we, out, we out here, Philly. We appreciate the All call. Right. All right, baby. Peace. All right. Yeah, everyone is crazy, starting with wax. Number one. Who's on drugs? Who's on drugs? Hello? Yeah. Hey. Yo, what's going on, Bully and the Beast? Oh, what's going yeah, on? Bro, what's your name? Where you from? Um, my name's Jay Red. I'm from Sacramento. Jeez. Talk to us. You want something? Uh, you want to talk on the on topic or what? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me chime in on the topic one time. My bad, y'all. I'm kind of nervous. I'm a big fan of both of y'all, man. I appreciate it, my brother. I kind of feel like I want to flip it for him. Yeah? Yeah, like, so if you caught your mom cheating on your dad... <laughs> You going to tell him or are you just going to let it go and let her slide? Fuck daddy. <laughs> See, nah. <laughs> nah, that situation with me is a little different, though, because I was raised by my pops. My mom dipped out on us when I was eight. Uh, uh, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks Next. for bringing up a traumatic experience. <laughs> this is going to cry in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I, I, I know. I'm like a I psychic. Shit, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> nah, but so, so no, but... I, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, but you know what? I just wanted to call and tell y'all, man, keep doing your thing. Uh, L'Oreal, you're mad beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate everything you do. Up, the man? only trash thing about you is you a Raider fan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's kind of gang over here. <laughs> and wax my brother. Yo. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you. A lot of people be trying to clown on you, bro, but I know I know I know what you be meaning half of the time. It's a joke. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but stay up, y'all. I appreciate right, y'all. Thank man. you. All right, all right, but you know what? You kinda right. kinda of, kind of switching around for me, and I understand that. Now, but my mama, if I catch my mama. Cheating, cheating on your dad. That's gonna hurt me. I am my dad. I we all the men in the family. It's okay, like, so you can't do that to none of us. What? We're gonna fuck this nigga up. <laughs> yeah, I'm but... calling everybody. We ain't gonna tell my dad. That's what I'm saying. Gonna hurt mommy again. Okay. Mommy can never be hurt. Facts. We mommy, I'm a, I'm gonna hold you down. I ain't gonna fuck with daddy talking about. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this nigga. 
Well, I'll keep you in the church. Yeah, tonight. but it's your mother, you know, the see, trifling this. one. I, mommy never trifling. <laughs> mommy is amazing always. Even though when she do some bullshit, mommy's still amazing. All right? Yeah, so mommy, mommy can get all of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, she can't. Mommy, please sit down. Nobody got time for it, but we're going to fuck that dude up. Yeah. Our job is to provide for tech, for protect all our What women. if he cool? Like No, you get fucked up, you're cheating on daddy. You can't do it. Mom, you got two meats. Like what if it's like Forrest Whitaker or some kind it's of just thing? two meats. <laughs> That's mommy. You mommy definitely ain't getting more than two meats. Okay, one meat per mommy. There you go. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Who's on drugs? <laughs> Who's on drugs? You're on drugs. Talk to us. Hey, Lori. Yeah. Hey, Wax. Hi. You got some advice you need or hey, you want to weigh in on this topic? Um, Let's do both. Okay, wait. First, let us know where you from and what your name is. Yep. My name is Fancy. I'm from Oklahoma City. Yeah. Okay, Fancy. Let's start with the advice first. Yes. Okay, well, I wrote into the uh, Bully and the Beast Instagram page in the inbox for my advice. Yeah. You don't want to say it it to us now? Say it real quick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so basically, I just turned 29 in February, so I'm kind of halfway into being 29. Oh, we, we, okay. No, wait, 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 wait. You, you the one that never had a date before, or you had a date, but you got to pay and all that, right? Right. Okay, so I'm glad you called, because we actually have your voicemail on this episode, so we had some more questions for you. Uh Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Is your pussy dry? <laughs> That's not my West question. Is say some no, that wasn't no, mine. no, no, no. You know what? Because it's no way you like. You look like you got good pussy. You know what I'm saying? It's like your, your lips is a little juicy and like a little dark. So I'm like, ah, I must have got that pink shit. You know what I'm saying? She got some good pussy. So what's the problem? You can't cook. Your toes ugly. No, I don't have. I don't have ugly feet. I've never had anybody tell me that I can't cook. Everybody always asking me to cook for them. I just, I don't know. Are Guys, you on sister just don't stage? fuck with me. Did they like put you in a sister? Like a friend zone is what you're trying uh, no. to ask? Yeah. A sister zone. Yeah, He's basically. Not, I, 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 like, not even friend zone. I wouldn't even say I get friend zoned. I just literally like don't get past like texting and talking on in, on the phone. What's and your, then what's after that, it's like you? they just kind of ghost me. The, uh, do you tell me? I really you, like, don't know. The, the Satan? Nah, like what's your personality like? Um, I'm a cool person. I just like to chill, get high. I, I drink a little bit. All right, let me role play you with know, you. I real just quick. Keep... Let me role play with you. Keep it real. What's what's wrong with okay. you? Like, what's your problem? Your breast stink? No, like, what what would you say is one thing about yourself that you would fix? Um, I am not the con- most confident person. Okay. So, do you feel <laughs> that like that would be the biggest thing? So, do you feel like with that maybe you're bringing something to them that they're kind of like, oh, no, nah, I can't deal now. with this. Yeah. yeah. I can't deal girl with can't this. can't be too much. Mm-hmm. I had a girl cry to me, and I, like, pulled my pants. As she was crying, I was, like, pulling my pants up real slow. Like, and she looked at me, and I stopped. And then she, she looked away and cried again. I pulled my pants up. I was like, I got to get the fuck out of I feel yeah. like sometimes you have to let other people lead the conversation. You know what I mean? Or, like, make the move. Are you aggressive? Uh, no, but only I feel like I'm not aggressive because I don't have a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. But so you, you're not a virgin, right? Because I see your titties well, out. Well, no, I'm not a virgin. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> definitely not a virgin. Yeah, no. you, you, got a, you got a motherfucking camel toe out of this fucking world. He tried to say you was a man. I almost forgot yeah, about that. Yeah, I was trying to see it. I said, this is a fucking No, man. I'm definitely not a man. No, I just used to be really big and I lost a lot of weight. Dope. So now I just Dope. got that crazy poop going on a little uh, bit. But, yeah, but you still got that fucking juicy ass pussy from the big girls. Okay, so I see what the problem is. I mean, is. I haven't had anybody complain about that. Okay, I, so for so instance, I just was dealing with the guy for five months. Okay. We yeah. were, everything was cool. That's dating, um, ain't it? We would go out to eat. Like, yeah, I guess you, I, well, I don't think it, I wouldn't necessarily say it was dating because he wasn't dating me. I feel like I was dating him oh, and you he was, was just fucking me. him out. Uh, well, listen, you No, not him? every, not, I only took him out once. He okay. took me out more than once. Then what's the problem? It's okay. But it wasn't a date. 
So he just wasn't the right one. Some niggas play games. Like, mm-hmm. and then, and what I think is because you got to get your confidence back up. Like, you done lost this weight, whatever. You're like a different person, mm-hmm. but you still acting like you, it's like shallow how. Yes. You ever saw that movie? Yes. That's how you're acting. It's yeah, like, like you're that. probably still being like very like you do, you timid and yeah. Uh-huh. So you in your mind, that's probably you're probably uncomfortable with the fact that you think like that's how people are viewing you or whatever. But you got to try to start doing things to build your confidence up. You know what I mean? Things that make you feel good about yourself. Yeah, like like play, play with yourself or, uh, oh. or, or, or on a um, <laughs> this guy. Like for real, like like. Have one of your guys call and y'all just be playing with each other on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, let me see your pussy. Let me see your t- Me, I do that shit all the time. That's like, that's like, that's my porn. I like, <laughs> what? I like live No, I don't know what he's talking about. I like live pornos. I feel like me you either. should. No, yeah. You should just try different things, like different guys, as far as like dating sites and going out and meeting people, like going to the bar, go by yourself, go meet somebody at the bar, go to a restaurant, go eat. Like, you get what I'm saying? Go to places that is. Stuff that you like to do. But when I go out, when I go out, guys will not come up to me. Okay, so you come up to them. I I go to the bar. I'm I'm too nervous to go up to someone. Listen, this is 2019. It's perfectly fine for you to approach the man. At first, I'm like, maybe she's too aggressive. You're not doing anything. It's kind of like a a dead fish. (laughs) (laughs) We don't like that. You can't. You're not moving. You know what I mean? Like we poke motherfuckers, laugh. What's this shit? Kool Aid lady. Isn't that the they poke him in the stomach and like? Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. I was like, hee hee, you're so weird shit. Yeah. No, that's the Pillsbury Doughboy. The Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, boy. we all Pillsbury fucking up. Pillsbury Dough Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you d- laugh. But don't lead off with money. I'm dead. Don't lead off with money like, oh, I'll take you to eat or... Oh, you get me like that. Don't do that. Just be the girly girl. Like, uh, yeah, you know. Well, I, I, the, I started doing that because I was like, well, I'm not getting... Nobody's asking me out on dates. And I have, like, guys, they maybe like like all my pictures or something on Facebook or whatever. So I was like, okay, well maybe they are interested and they just scared to approach me. So fuck it, I'll approach them. And I slide and I inbox them and see if they, you know, go out on a date. But then after the first date, it just don't never really go anywhere. So I don't know. Does your pussy stink? No, I, I promise the last guy. You got, listen, you said you got good pussy. I don't your, know. Your cook, food is good. You don't have ugly toes. You don't look ugly. We seen your picture. Like you're not messed up. Like what? What the? Fuck okay. All right. Doing? So wait. Sorry. Um. I. You know. I do the morning show, y'all, and I got to get the hell up out of here, or I'm gonna be stuck in New York. So, um, nice talking to you. I hope Wax helps you with the rest of this call. I'm gonna pray baby. for you, girl. I got you. Because I'm not sure. Okay. But, thank you, L'Oreal. Yeah. All right. Bye. Peace. Bye. All right. I, again, I don't think that's your that you're not messed up and stuff like that. I don't. They got to be something that you have. Like, do you drink in the in the in the uh, liquor come out of your pores or something? Like, is there a certain smell <laughs> no. that you have? Like, I'm trying to figure out. I'm just no. throwing things out there. I'm not saying this is what you are. I'm just throwing things out there because it's like, why would a guy not want to be with a girl that cooks good pussy and she feeds you? Like, she take you out. Like, I don't get that. But you know what? What do I know? Jump in somebody DMs that I know, and we'll be good. Hint, hint. <laughs> I don't know either, Wax. <laughs> so what, I gotta what, get so this what, figured out. I'm about step? to be thirty soon. I don't. I, I get. I don't know. I just because I just stopped fooling with the guy because I felt like it was we getting further into it. I need to know where where are we going with this. And he said he don't see it going nowhere. So I just deaded right. the situation. Don't dead it. We, and it, it was then. raw sex. Ooh. Guess what, Wax? It was raw sex. That's important to tell us in the beginning. <laughs> you can't be just out here. So what the fuck are you going to do? Because that raw sex. Like, were you, were you that was the first somebody? time I ever had raw sex with anyone. Wow. How old are you? Oh, 29. 29. I'm 29. No so you kids. Just got a college you just start living. You just start living. You ain't even start living yet. You don't even know what raw dick feel like. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that was my first time. Lord, this guy is going to tear your head off. Like, you don't even want to leave this guy. I really don't, but he don't like me, so I had to just say, fuck it. So what are you going to do? Find somebody else to smash raw? Because right now you don't like condoms. Like, condoms is not in no. your vocabulary right now. 
Right now, I'm going celibate. I'm abstinent. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Yeah, of course. I'm not partaking. That nigga gave you something. Then. You ain't motherfucking doing that shit. No, he didn't give me nothing. I right. just can't just run into the next nigga's bed. And, no, that don't work like that. I'm so happy you respect that. Let me ask you a question. This is T. Diddy. Um, hey, T. Diddy. Hey. I just followed you today on Instagram. Thank you. I'll follow you back. <laughs> Do you go on social, uh, the like dating sites? Um, I'm on Tinder. That's it. She, she want to fuck then. What? <laughs> Why are you on Tinder? You don't I don't know. That's not Tinder. Doesn't have to be just be for fucking. You don't Tinder to is fucking. Wait, is that where you're I'm getting, on Tinder? Is that where you're meeting the guys though? No, I, I don't never reply back to any of the guys on there because they're always creeps. The guys who like me are creeper looking guys. Mostly like Facebook, because that's the where I most interact the most on social media is Facebook. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know what to. <laughs> I don't know. I told. I, told I don't what know doing, either. Man. But, but, but this is the thing: you are dating. Like, you're just dating bad guys. Just like the rest like, of these motherfuckers. Yeah, it's like, like, look. All I of them is. also I learned this too. Like, you don't want to. Let the guy know all your tricks and secrets, especially because they're going to take advantage of that, especially you giving up the first like couple dates, not giving up as in like sex, but just letting them know like cooking or or mm-hmm. just like being you said, why not? Yeah. Listen, be- if you know you dope and thorough, no. be that dope and thorough Niggas girl. take advantage of that shit. Niggas don't. Take advantage of that That's girl. how I feel, Wax. I oh, feel like God. I shouldn't have to change myself. Yeah, don't change yourself, girl. No, no, you don't want to give it. <laughs> yes, you do. You, you want to show no, your best No, 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 not the first couple of dates. No, let that lead to it because he's like, if especially well, it doesn't right happen in the first couple house, of dates. He's going to. Oh, um, I don't invite guys to my house. All he's going to do is like just keep going over to your house. He's not going to want to take you out. All right, well, that's all y'all started. No, off that's not okay. Way. Why not? I need, um, girls need to be catered too. Yeah, they cater you with this dick. No, that's, <laughs> that's not the problem. That's what that's you want at the end of the day, and that's what we want with the pussy. That's not what I want at the end of the day. Why not? But What's listen, I don't is... want you to ever change who you are for another nigga. Can we? Can you know what I'm saying? Okay. You shouldn't be trying to highlight this dude if you can't bring your best self to anybody. No, I'm not saying that. Bring that, but don't bring it the first couple of dates. Yeah, listen. I want the first first date. She's like, yo, I'm come come over. I'm cooking. And stuff like that. Show who you are. Because you like, I'm so thorough. I know I could grab this nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that, if you got that, you could show them who you are that first day. Don't change who you are. Yeah, but you want them to also be, you want, the, I was just telling my my friend that, you want the guy to also still treat you. Mm-hmm, I hear you. Like, how you want to be treated. So. Yeah, he gonna, if I see somebody so dope and I was so thorough, I'm like, dang. Because there's plenty of times the first night I went to a girl house. And she was literally cooking and cleaning, washing her house and stuff. I'm like, Dad, okay, this is dope. But if you just sitting down on the couch and, you know what I'm saying, no, like, let's get... go out to eat and stuff, I'm looking at you like, man, you motherfucker. I'm going to fuck her and I'm out. Um, I want to listen to Wax, but I would. <laughs> because I've been in that situation, don't I dated a guy. You made a scumbag. That guy was a scumbag who ever treated a queen, a dope person like that. You cooked and cleaned. You did all that type of thing. He treated like shit. You sound like wax. A, you call me a queen wax? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm just saying. If that's what the girl is doing, that's what she needs to be called, though. If you really cl- holding your man yeah, down, but he took, that's what queens do. They hold their man down. But I'm saying it was too early. That's what I'm saying. No, it's never too early. Show who you are. Don't be bringing that representative shit because at the end of the day, you're going to find Look, out the good and bad. Wax is right, though. Don't change yourself. Yes, man. Um, just also maybe change the guys you're dating. That's hard. She's like a certain type. Nasty motherfuckers because she on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like nasty people. I just like, you know, a guy that's smart and a little street smart, too. But what yeah. are these guys like? They know they're good looking and attractive because you want to get like the medium ugly guys. No, I don't. I don't, I don't go for the guys that's too fine. I like. I like some, I like ugly niggas. Okay, so like why ain't you why ain't you sliding my motherfucking DMs then? The fuck, I ain't ugly uh, enough. Well, what? Well, <laughs> you're you're, not, are you, when when you coming back to Oklahoma? I heard you say you got church yeah, family out yeah, here. Yeah, church family out there. I come out there and come play around with you. 
I ain't ugly enough for you. The fuck? We can praise the Lord together. I been getting called ugly my whole life, and now I ain't ugly enough because I got a show. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, baby. <laughs> Oh Why you God, ugly you know, enough? To get up out of here or something yeah. like that because it's like this is like kind of wild. And yeah. I hate that. We so we're having technical difficulties, but um, I hope that L'Oreal Wax or me was able to help you out. I think you should just choo- try to choose different guys too. If it's like kind of yes. a little bit of a soap, same pattern. That's all. And she got just, and your eyes need to wear condoms. She said it was only one time. Yeah, that one uh, oh, trust me, I am. Real fast. So she does not want to fucking... No, it, no, it won't. Right. No, it won't. I promise it that won't. Change I promise it won't. No. Nope. Wax, like, if I haven't learned anything, I learned from you. Right. No raw sex. I'm not going to say... No more raw sex. Like, Wait, so you just be going raw? Wait, Wait what? No, she don't want to do it. When you first get introduced to raw meat, come on. What do you mean? Whatever, you right. All right. Um, thank you. I'm sorry we're not gonna be able to. We can't. Thank you guys. Right now, but thank really you. Sucks, I hope we give you advice. All right. All right. Good. Bye. All right. You know, L'Oreal's not here. She'd be like, uh, subscribe. <laughs> um, do that. Uh, call up. Give us voicemails. Uh, we really appreciate y'all doing all that listening and all that other type of shit on all the platforms. Y'all dope for that. We gonna have merch for y'all. We yeah, gonna have all coming. that type of shit. So yeah, y'all keep on getting. Very very soon. We have yes, we will have merch and all that type of shit for y'all. So um, you know, appreciate y'all li- listening and God bless everybody. But listen, one last tip I want to do, man. It's been helping me out lately. Um, I want y'all to go and put your headphones on right at night when you go to bed, and listen to Proverbs all the way through, and just see what it do for you. If it don't do nothing for you, say fuck wax. But if it do say something, do something for you, man, I, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, uh, y'all do that. But Bullying the Peace podcast. Peace. 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 Peace.